What is this big ass bait? <laughs> the links on this thing are made out of cloth. Is that normal? I don't know. I'm not like I'm not a slim bait uh, expert. I'm definitely a novice or a beginner. Has like a slow medium sink to it. Hmm. The action's actually pretty good on this thing swims like a narrow like a like an S waver swimming super narrow okay this fish is obviously isn't gonna react to this so Boys, got your tetanus shots. I haven't tried this trick in so long, I haven't needed to. All lizards. Eight inches to five inches. Try this Magnum uh, natural color one right here. I only use zoom, by the way. If anyone's wondering. All right, your nose in it. Seems to piss this fish off more when I move it a lot. Okay, so in theory, that would mean if I put it over here and brought it this way, he, was, he would actually eat it because it had more time in the water. Almost ate it. <clears throat> Almost ate poop. Come on. Yep, there he goes. Got you, buddy. Oh, no. This is definitely not the same fish I caught yesterday right there. That freaking lizard, dude. I thought it was hooked an eye, it wasn't. It's about a pound. Go back to your bed, buddy. That bass was super spooky until I threw that lizard in there. He freaking ate it. After like a couple minutes. So far, this, uh, there's a fish right there I'm about to catch. What's it gonna be, the lizard? This fish is super spooky. I seen this thing like five times yesterday. Where'd you go? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Couldn't see him. Oh, this dude's gonna fish too, huh? That's sick. You guys are gonna see what this thing swims like. 
Oh, what the heck was that? Not sure if you guys can see that or not. It swims just like a glide bait, but um, it's not as wide. And you have to fish it a little bit faster for it to even have any action whatsoever. Sinks a little bit faster too. I mean, I think this thing's pretty legit. Like, I'm probably thinking I'm crazy throwing this big ass bait, but. I've seen a 10 pounders here myself, so I would know. It's not like I can just give up though, because uh, yesterday I couldn't see, my, see the fish that actually ate my jig. That's bad the tips. Uh, chartreuse. No, I'm probably gonna try to catch this fish. You heard me catch this fish like a move on. The other fish I couldn't catch yesterday. Okay, where are you at? You're right there. if he'll commit to this lizard or not. Yeah, this lizard sinks so slow. Oh, I almost fell in the water. But are you gonna knows how to eat it? <laughs> it's gonna drop right in your face. Go eat it. Oh, I thought he had it. <laughs> Obviously you didn't because I didn't catch him. I wonder if people would call us finesse fishing with this big ass lizard or not. I wouldn't. What's finesse about this giant lizard? I doesn't want to eat it because fucking the fish is only like two pounds, so. That's cool. Two fish on the lizard. Zero on anything else so far. This fish is warm as hell. Ain't that right, tough guy? Okay. Go back to your bed, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> because these are just like spots with mud it's not even well, I guess this spot right here is cleared off but the rest aren't it 
set the hook too early last time. Now he's all weary. Weary. I'm gonna flip it around top of his head and see what he likes about that though. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Let me do it again. Put some dirt on it. Just eat it. Just commit to it. You nibble it every time I flip in there. Just eat it. Drop it right in your face, just for you. And Stop. This is about the same size as the last one I caught. I thought that was gonna work and it didn't. <laughs> this is about one pound. Man, that fat girl must have laid her eggs yesterday. I still think that's a bed though. Sucks. I just missed a fish. I didn't even see it. I fucking felt it came over there and said, clunk. Right now is my chance to see all those beds I couldn't see yesterday. I actually already seen one. <laughs> Stop shaking. Damn. Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> this fish is feisty. Saw a clear spot by that log out there. Oh no, I almost slipped in the water again. And he cast it out there and hammered it. This is literally the cheapest jig on Tackle, wa uh, tackle Warehouse. <laughs> Some of those jigs are like seven dollars and shit. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's funny though. Uh, when I went to Whiskey Town and caught that smallmouth, I had just bought a uh, the Savage Gear 3D bluegill for like eighteen bucks, and uh, I backlashed my line and forgot to uh, cut it because there was a little like. A chunk missing from my line. I cast the fucker out. My line breaks midair, so the bait went flying off. Look how high up this water is compared to when I caught that five pounder on the S waiver, which was on that stick over there, which wasn't. Dang, what are these prints from deer? Which wasn't uh, sticking that far out the water. This pond gets really, really, really small when uh when it droughts when the drought season comes. I'm surprised there's never any beds back here. I mean, but then again, kind of not surprised. I remember when I was like two or three. I think it was my birthday. And the only present I remember on that birthday is him bringing me a, a I think it was a Zebco 33 fishing pole. And uh, he showed me how to cast and then I went to cast and I casted like a mile. Ooh. doing but that was not a fish that's, oh wait I think that is a fish 
pretty sure I'm staring straight at him if it is. Yesterday the fish was on the end of the log. So he must not be betting if he switched spots like that. I remember I never put a pole down since. Oh, that's definitely the fish. I see you sitting there too, buddy. The spot this fish is bed is in is like legendary. <laughs> I can't believe this little fish has this bed. It's just like three pounds, I just call it a little. Trying to catch another one of those like 10 pounders. <laughs> Maybe a five plus. There was one time the chatterbait was being called by the bass gods, it'd probably be right now. Or a spinnerbait, actually, because this water's not really murky enough for a chatterbait. I mean, you could fish a chatterbait wherever the hell you want, but certain baits are made for certain situations. About it, since all these beds are in between pretty much the bank and grass. I guarantee you, since this is the one side of the lake, all the females um, are out in front of all the grass trying to pick off some food. I'm not sure if bass actually do that now I think about it, but I, I am willing to put money on the fact that they do do that. Do do! <laughs> so far, what I do like about this Wish App swim bait is that, uh, when you go to rip it out the grass, unlike the S waiver, it actually rips the grass off or gets itself out of the grass and doesn't leave any behind usually. Oh no, I just got... <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the second time I've snagged this thing and I probably ain't gonna get it back this time. I'm gonna fish my way back to the car. Uh, after this clip ends, if you don't, uh, if I don't catch anything, you probably won't. I'm probably not going to have another clip in this video. So yeah. <laughs>